What are you videoing? Yeah, we'll cut that out. <laughs> oh, hey guys, we're back to Book Pride. My name is Matt. Today we're doing transfer case swap and we're going to show you what it looks like. So, this is one here. This is actually the one that we just took out of the car. But as you can see, um, you can't really tell looking at by it, but this one has done about 350,000 Ks and it's just gone over the line and now it's pretty much buggered. So, we're going to take this one out of the car and put the new one in. Okay guys, you joined us underneath Book Prada for today's episode, which is the transfer case, which is this bad boy right here. Now it might be hard to see, but we're going to show what's going to happen. So we're going to unbolt this tail shaft and the front drive shaft, okay? And then we're going to undo all these electrical plugs that go into the sides of it. And then we're going to try and unbolt from both ends and drop it out, okay? Because this one is buggered and we've proven that by... Um, just driving off the line it all clicks and it all moves in here and we think we suspect the chain or a cog in there is flogged and it has been in there for like 26 years so it had a good run but now we've got a new one and we're gonna bolt it in we're gonna show you how to do it so man's just getting the first tail uh, drive shaft off now as you can see so pry bar just prying it out Alright, we're just taking off this little bash plate because one we got doesn't come with one, but that's fine because four bolts that comes off that really will protect it a lot. And then we've also disconnected the back tail shaft as you can see here. So that one was quite heavy when it came down compared to the front, but now the only thing holding this transfer case in is the bolts to the front transmission. So we're gonna take the bash plate off, harness that, and then we're gonna start molding the big boy. Okay guys, so all the bolts on the left side of the transfer are done. Um, it took a little while, there's one at the very top, we had to use multiple extensions and special joints to make that come out, but now Ben's just got, I think, two more bolts on this side, and these are really easy to get to, so we've left them for last, and then um, the jack, as you can see, is already holding that up, so once he undoes these, we're going to loosen this off, and hopefully it will just sort of come out slowly, and then we can um, control it. Oh, yeah, oh. Oh okay. man, that boot <laughs> looks like it's getting birth. That's so weird. Bang. Ooh, yeah. So we just pulled that out, as you can see in there, it looks like that. Um, and you don't have to tra drain the transfer mission fluid, um, which is good. And um, yeah, it's just here on the side. So hopefully we'll be able to um, put the other one in the same way we took this one out. So new transfer is in. It was, to be honest, a bit difficult to get in at the start, but then we had someone look at the how it's aligning in and we got in really easy after that. And then now Ben's just doing that same super hard bolt right now at the very top. Uh, most of the other bolts are already on. So then it's just going to be a matter of um, putting some of these uh, excess plugs back in where they were located. They're, they're pretty easy to find. You can't. It's pretty obvious where they go. They're, they're all color coded as well. And then pretty much after that, we'll be um, putting the tail shafts back on. And then we can also put on that bash plate right there, which is just four bolts at the bottom. That, that'll be the last thing to do. And then we'll take it for a drive and see uh, if it's going to be fixed or not. All bolted in now. It does take a little while. Um, and obviously trying to do all the tricky bolts. And then little bash plates back on. So now we just need to do a little service on this. Make sure the oil in there is all sweet. And then we'll drive it. It's fully installed now. And we're just going to do a little service. So this is the oil that's recommended. Uh, 75W90. So as you can see, this is a 2.5 litre. And it comes with a little funnel. Um, it, I think it takes about 1.2 litres, so they do a 1 litre of this and that's not going to be big enough. So make sure you get a slightly bigger one, this one's a 2.5 uh, at super cheap, it's on special. Now, when you're doing it, um, when you fill it up, you've got to make sure that there's two plugs in there and you want to do it until it starts to spill out the second plug, which is a little bit higher, okay? Because that's how much you'll need and then that's, how you, that's the reference of how much you'll know to put in there. So, we've just drained this one out. There's a little bit in there. The previous owner's already drained it out for us, so that's pretty much all of it now. But now we're going to um, get a little pump because the angle of it's really difficult. So to get the oil in there, you can't just pour it in directly. You need to get a little pump in there. All right, so we couldn't find that pump, but Ben managed to actually um, squeeze it up drip through the gap and yet yeah, was able to do it um, fine. Okay, guys, so we took the car for a drive. Uh, we threw off some tyres for Ben for 35s and it works flawlessly, no butts or noises about it, which is great. And all full driving works as well. So that's how you install it, guys. Any questions, let me know down below. Till then, see you guys next time on Built Prado.